Notre Dame's first football game this season is going to be broadcast on the Peacock streaming service. Now, while I have complained in the past about the idea of streaming football games and the fact that it is different time-wise from games that are on, you know, over the broadcast or over the air broadcast or direct TV or whatever. If the game is only going to be available streaming, which by the way, you have to pay for Peacock to get this. It's not part of the free Peacock thing, which I found surprising. I I'm very curious about this. They have Notre Dame NBC owns the Peacock streaming service. They own Notre Dame's rights through 2025. Now, Notre Dame had to agree to this. I am super curious about this because this is the future of college athletics. If this does well, now they're playing Toledo, but if you see some kind of potential here, you start to see some of these other ones that we have brought up in the past, Google, Amazon, whatever, Facebook, whoever, possibly buying media rights to get more eyeballs live eyeballs that are willing to sit through advertisements for these games, you get more of them involved, and all of a sudden, college athletics has more bidders than just Fox and ESPN, right? So, I I think it's good to try it out on a game, and the Toledo game is likely the best option. It it sucks that it's opening weekend, but this is going to be painful for sports bars and everything else because you can't just flip back and forth. Like you've complained about this, you can't swap yes. from ESPN Plus over to Fox. You know you, you go, can't you can't take my clicker away from me, and that's that's what's happening. And that's what streaming does. Is now not only am I going from, so let's say Amazon has all the games, all right, and and, and so this is the way it is with baseball, right? So yeah. my I have the MLB package and it's tied to my Amazon or whatever, and they have a window of all the games, and so while a game is being played, I can be searching at a smaller part of the screen. Where where you know all the games are, and then I can scroll over, and I can, and they all have the score on them and everything else, so I can see this game's getting close. Let me click over to that, and it takes a little longer, obviously, than just swapping the channel on a on a on a regular old man TV, but it's still doable. But now, if I have to go from Peacock to Amazon to Apple TV to Facebook to what now now I'm switching apps, my TV's gonna God no. No, I can't do this. I'm this is the this is what's gonna kill me. This is this is what's going to turn me from a guy who loves sports, loves football, and has spent my entire life loving and supporting the sport to just learning how to knit. I'm just gonna be sitting there with with the with the with the with the with the Great Britain swim swim guy watching his husband dive just knitting knitting a sweater next to him. I'm just I'm out. I'm out. I can't do that. I cannot do this shit, Gary. I can't do it. And you know how much I love NBC. I do. You know that. They're my they're my out of all of the network <laughs> channels, they are my favorite out, and it's not close. All right. I love Al Michaels. I love Mike Tarico. I love Doug Flutie calling games. I love Chris Collinsworth calling games. Like they're it, and it's not close. And they're the ones that are ripping my heart out of me. Well, I mean, luckily, this right now, it's thing, only one I'm game. Be pissed. Jack Swarbrick said, We've always strived for innovation in the media space, and our partnership with NBC and Peacock only solidifies that mission. Uh, bringing Notre Dame football to Peacock is just the next step in the evolution of our relationship. I so what you're, you're going to have to get like five TVs at the house. All right. So, what I assumed was going to happen was they were going to stream it on Peacock, like basically dual feed it. Yes. Yeah. For people who have cut the cord and don't have NBC. You can now watch this. Now that I'm all for, because I know a lot of people that come to my house to watch football because they don't get these games because they have cut the cord. Okay, and and the same thing is 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 true for the Sunday night football games. All right, like I that that is a thing, and that doesn't surprise me. And I that's what I assumed was happening. What is going to be on Channel Five on my TV when this when this game is going on? Like is just gonna is gonna play like a rerun of Wheel of Fortune? Well, this is uh, like, what, what September fifth is gonna be on on NBC when this game is being played. Is there a is there a horse race that day? I'm I'm sure there's not, Gary. I mean, it's Labor Day weekend. There's 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 no chance that they would go up against their own horse race. 
I wouldn't think it's, so. It's got to be. It's got to be the shittiest TV show you can you can find. Uh, there's. That, yeah. They're not worried about. They're not worried about ratings at all. There's zero chance it'll be another sporting event. Their other six home games, by the way, will be shown on Peacock and ESP or sorry, uh, NBC, NBC simultaneously. That makes sense. So yeah, the dual stream is the dual stream makes all the sense in the world, and I'll give them that one hundred percent. I'll give you all of it because. Now you're getting back into homes of people who have streamed their entire that, that have that have chosen to stream. But but us old people who don't want this, please don't force us into it. Because I love, love Notre Dame games. I love them. And it's always a game that I'm gonna kind of be clicking back and forth on, at least to see the beginning of and to see them come. Like when we talk about the pageantry of college football, there aren't a lot of these schools where I get into the pageantry, okay? But Notre Dame football is one of them. It's yeah. what I grew up with. It's the only football that was allowed on in my house. It's uh, it's going to be interesting for sure. Uh, what they're saying is the game is likely a litmus test for the power of Notre Dame to deliver streams. With Notre Dame's television rights expiring in 2025, uh, the game could deliver empirical evidence to the power that Notre Dame football can deliver to a streaming service. Notre Dame's deal. I hope it's. I hope it, it's god awful. Well, it says Notre Dame's deal is currently considered under market, and this could be a harbinger for how significantly that changes. I mean, we'll see. I think this is the way what this is that going. Mean? Like Notre Dame's not getting enough money for like the SEC deal under market. Yeah, our ESPN's paying more than they're getting. Our uh, NBC is paying, more than is what paying less than, than what they what they should be paying. Yes. Okay. So so pay just pay them more and dual stream it. I mean that would work for me. Jesus, don't 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 I don't take it off NBC. I, I, if ESPN has, if no longer the SEC game is on CBS and then NBC loses another thing, I don't know. I don't know what to do, Gary. No, like I'm I'm not made for this. My kids might be fine, but I'm not made for this. I I have four televisions in my man cave because of this, like all the ESPN Plus stuff, all the. Smaller See, I, games I, that I watch. Like, I have I have a big ass TV. I don't have a lot of little TVs. Yeah. I have one big fucking TV. Yep. Okay? And you want to be able to switch back and forth and and do that. I, I want to watch the game on my gigantic TV. Yes. I I, I just can't do it. I it's can't. a pain. It's a pain. This is all of the changing in college football is. It's gonna be what drives me out of this sport. Yeah, I can believe that. I was I was asked point blank on another friend's show not too long ago you know, how to get me into college football because they knew we talked a lot of college football because I'm only an NFL girl. And I, 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 I got out of college football a couple of years ago and I just can't find my way back. And I said, look, I'm, I'm going to be a hard guy to, to tell you that. I love college football, but I like NFL a lot better. I just, I just do. Why? Because they don't do bullshit like this. And if they do, they do it with the bullshit Jacksonville game that nobody cares about. Yeah. They don't take the biggest brand in the entire sport and then say, we're going to do it with this game. No, even they would never do the, the 8 a.m. game, which I love the 8 a.m. game, by the way. They would never <laughs> do the 8 a.m. streaming on Amazon with the Cowboys. Like, that, that's not going to happen over Jerry Jones's cold, dead-ass body. Yeah, well, also over the NFL's dead body because they yeah, wouldn't no, do Roger's that. Roger's not going to do that. That guy's no. a moron, but he's not. He he's understands not what the brands are. He understands yeah, yes, how that that's works. that's right. Yeah. That's right. That is that is what you do for the for the Jags and, and the Texans. Yes. That, that is not what you do for the Steelers and the Cowboys. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.